Welcome back to part two of Bargain or Bad Idea. My name's Marika, pro skating coach and British Winter Olympian, and I want to know which beginner ice skate sets to recommend to my skaters. I was picky about which boots would make the cut for these tests. Stay tuned as I spill the tea. Later we'll be ice testing a pair of Jackson skates, but right now it's time to test the SFR Galaxy. As I'm trying these skates on and lacing up, I notice there's a little bit more padding in these skates than in the Rush S skates that I tried on in part one. Let's see if there are any other noticeable differences between these two pairs of budget-friendly boots. These ice road tests are conducted as an out of the box and onto the ice situation. Why? Because that's what most people who don't know any better would do. So I want to give myself the closest to an everyday person's experience of this product as possible. So these are the SFR Galaxy and they feel a little bit more generous in the toe box but otherwise the insole feels pretty good, pretty steady. How do the blades feel? Well, as I'm practicing a few of my rises and falls, ready to practice my turning, I'd say the rocker is doing okay. How do I feel? as I'm skating around and using my edges for a snow plow to be able to slow down and stop is actually pretty good. So the, the grind that this blade comes with seems to be mostly set up so that you can unbox and skate quite comfortably. So how do we feel the look of the skates is doing? We've got a pretty profile. They'll look really nice as we go around the rink, whether we're just having a little bit of a party skate in the winter season, whether we're on our learn to skate classes, we really look like we've got the right kind of kit. But what about all the moves that are in our Skate UK classes? Well, we want to be able to know that we're going to be comfortable making edges when we're skating with edge pressure. A little more comfortable backwards than forwards, so I think the heel end is time for a bit of a sharpen there, but for turns, we're pretty good. So we'll be good for our first few levels at Skate UK. So as I take off my SFR Galaxy skates, um, I would say that if I had to choose between the two, initially I was thinking I was going to like the Italian skates the best, the Rochas, but the SFR surprised me. And I think it's really down to not which one was better because actually in terms of the caliber of skate they're both pretty much on a par the blade could even be from the same manufacturer the boot strengths very similar um, how long would these boots last if we were skating flat out as a competitor about five minutes but if we're learning to skate um, these boots are going to be just fine because we're not going to be challenging uh, the strength of the leather if, and this depends on, our height and our weight. So for reference, um, I am five foot seven, that's about one meter 70. I don't really step on scales anymore. Um, but to give you an idea of roughly the size of human being that I am, that these boots can have skated five minutes and they felt no pain. There's a minor crease maybe starting there. Um, so, so yeah, these skates are going to be good for a very average um, adult. Now, if you were extra tall or uh, if you were extra curvy, maybe, then we may be looking at these being a fraction too light in terms of the support that these boots might offer your ankles. Um, also, our ankle strength. Um, the laces can do so much, um, and this goes for both pairs of boots now, the laces can do a fair amount to, you know, make the, the boots snug around the foot and create some stability for the ankle but of course you are going to be balancing on a teeny tiny thin little blade so if your ankles are naturally quite loosey-goosey um, in if you find yourself turning your ankle a lot in everyday life then you may want to consider a slightly stronger boot and the, perhaps the the 50 pound pair of boots might not be sufficient to keep your ankles safe um, however I know that these boots and the rushes um, are both uh, made in smaller sizes and would be ideal um, for children starting out because they'll be quite gentle on the ankles. Um, one little detail I'd quite like about the, the Galaxy SFR was the little bit of padding inside which um, made the back 
end a little more snug, kept the heel in place a little bit better and uh, made it a little bit more cozy in there. So I think that might be a, an interior win for the, uh, the Galaxy SFR. We're unboxing a pair of Jackson beginner skates and one thing is a really clear difference from the get-go. These boots are the over £100 price mark but if we do an extreme close-up of the blade I want you to notice something really important. There's a slight difference between the very lowest part of the blade and the rest of the blade. This area of matte rather than shiny is the regrind surface area. So these blades are really intended to last. They are the Mark II Ultima blade and the rocker and the Topic is a little different than the two pairs of boots that we saw before. So the whole setup of these boots is just a little bit extra. We also look at the hooks. These hooks mean business. They're quite strong. There's four of them, nice and evenly spaced. We've got the crease um, notch here to help with mobility at the ankle. Looking at the crafting of the tongue as well. Let's just open that up. So we've got a little bit of softer but reinforced type nylon fabric here which is going to be easier to tuck in at the side and less likely to create um, uncomfortable spots because it's thinned out the tongue in this area. So overall, as you skate a little bit harder in these skates, as you become a little bit more advanced, these ones should be a more comfortable ride. Well, we're going to see. If we make a side-by-side -side comparison, because frankly we are interested in what is the difference between a 50 pound pair of boots approximately and those that are a little bit more um, and we look at the area where the blade is attached and we'll see that the 50 pound pair of boots are using rivets which means that the blades can't be substituted for others at any other time and then we look at the brown soled Jackson boot um, which is the ones that's a little bit higher budget and we notice that they've all been set on with screws which is usually an indicator of more quality because then an expectation perhaps that the boot might outlast the blade somehow or that the blade might outlast the boot and that you might want to transfer them and reuse them so in many ways that makes them a slightly more economical option. This blade profile is filling me with confidence. The Jackson Company was founded by Canadian skating legend Don Jackson, the first dude to land a triple Lutz. So this starter kit has some pedigree and a corresponding level of craftsmanship. I'm on the ice with the Jackson XL skates and we're going to see what they're capable of. We're going to start with a stop. Blade feels fairly keen out the box. We're going to check out the rocker of the skate. And make sure that it all feels good. Taking some three turns. When we can skate forwards and backwards three turns with relative ease, we can have confidence that the blade is well crafted. And that's exactly what we're seeing here. Well, so far in our road test, the Jackson XL seem to be doing extraordinarily well. So I feel like it's time to take these puppies for a stronger road test. Let's go. As a pro accustomed to high spec and specialized equipment, to feel so confident in a base model kit was something that I really wasn't expecting. There's more support in these boots and there's definitely more responsiveness in these blades. The first thing I really noticed about the Jackson XLs, apart from the nice comfortable padding inside the boot itself, is that we have a genuine blade, a well-crafted blade, it really makes a significant difference to how we feel when we skate. The care and attention that's taken to crafting the exactly correct radius of the rocker of the blade, the placement of the pick, these factors all really play a big part in the fine-tuning of being able to learn skillfully to skate. And that's why I'm happy to say 
this beginner starter kit from Jackson, I highly recommend. Wrapping up, we can say that £50 ice skates can be a bargain if you're using them for the right skater. Base level equipment will have limitations. In this product test, price did impact product quality, comfort and performance. If you have reservations, seek a consultation with your nearest skate shop for a fitting and further product recommendations. In our test, the Rochas Paradise was suitable for children and absolute beginners. The SFR is similar, a little more comfy with a little more padding. And a standout winner from the Jackson Ultima XL, worth the investment.